Testing, one, two, three, four. All right, what we want to do is have a look at this problem where we have a slope. We get a darker pen here. A slope of two thirds. And the line is going to go through let's say a negative 2 comma 5 and we want to find what would this equation be in slope intercept form and the example we're going to move toward is putting it in slope intercept form So, what knowledge do we have? Well, we could use point-slope form, but this is just another way to do it. We want to substitute these values. Now, our y value is 5. Our slope is 2 thirds. Our x value is a negative 2 but we don't know our b value, our y-intercept. So we can solve this equation for the letter b by just solving this equation. We're going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of our fraction. We have to multiply the b by 3 as well. So here the 3's cancel out. So now we're left with 15 equals 2 times a negative 2 is a negative 4 and then plus 3b. Now we're going to add 4 to both sides and we get 19 equals I forgot to put the b there 3b. Now, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 3, and I get b then equals 19 thirds. Ah, so I have my new b. So what will my equation be? Well, I'll write it right here. y equals, I know my slope is 2 thirds, x. But now my y-intercept is plus 19 thirds. So rather than use the point slope form, we use this uh, slope intercept form, substituting the slope and the one point that we had for the y value and the x value, solve for the b, and then rewrote the equation in slope intercept form. Now, if you wanted it in standard form, I'll change colors so you can see that, you would multiply everything by 3. Here the 3's would cancel out. And you get 3y then equals 2x plus 19. And then transpose the 2x to the other side, the negative 2x plus 3y equals 19. And if you wanted your leading term to be positive, you multiply each part by a negative 1 and just change all the signs. So this is 2x minus 3y minus 19. Okay, we'll keep this short here.